Hello everyone. Hope everyone had a wonderful day. It started out very foggy and muggy in the morning and rainy and cold. But you know what? God knows what the earth needs. So let's just be thankful that he's providing what the earth needs. We may think it may be too much water or rain or whatever it is, but this is God earth. He, he owns it. So whatever he does, let's just be thankful that he's doing it. Today's Last Supper is what do we bring to the table what do we bring to the table god gives us his love he gives us mercy he gives us forgiveness he gives us his grace what are we giving him in return for all these gifts he gave us dominion over this earth he let us name all the things of this earth What do we give him in return? What are we giving him? What are we bringing to the table? One hour on Sunday, occasional Bible study, occasional prayer night, occasional revival. What are we bringing to the table? He has a crown for each and every last one of us. So what are we doing to get that crown? Have you ever ran a race or you ever competed in something? Second place gets something, right? Third place gets something. But who's remembered? Do you remember the second and third place people? Only person that's remembered is the first place or the champion. This is how we should be living. We should be living like we're trying to fight for this crown. My wife's got something that we'd seen together on uh, Facebook. It's like, said like, be like the third monkey fighting to get on the ark. Think about that. Remember, everything was taken in pairs, male and female. So what if this third monkey wanted to get on? What would he have to do to get on there? No, think about that. What are we bringing to the table? We have forgiveness that is given to us. We have mercy. We have grace. We have God's love. We have dominion over this earth. Our plate from him is full. So what plate, if we were to serve him, what would we serve on our plate? We need to be Mindful that God requires our time. We need to read, study, meditate, fast, pray, walk in the shoes that he put on our feet, walk in the direction that he pointed out to us. If we really want to win this race, and at the end of this race we want a crown, we're going to have to change some things can't live the same way. We can't go out partying and drink and, and do those same things that we were doing before. Thank goodness I've never done that. But yeah, I've gone to parties but never drank, um, smoked or anything like that. But things have to change. You can't come to Christ and still be living the same way. Those things are supposed to be changed. I believe it's 2 Corinthians, right? 2 Corinthians 5, 17. That we're supposed to be a new creature. All our old lives will pass away. The things that we used to like to do, the worldly things that we would like to do, those things should pass away. We should be striving to make it to the kingdom. If we're not being kingdom-minded, we're not going to make it. Think about that. Grace. Love, forgiveness, dominion over this whole entire earth. And what are we giving God in return? What are we giving Him? God bless you every second, every minute, every hour of every day.